The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, any calls today? Or please give us a call, and we'll be happy to answer any questions. And uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. 877-927-6648. Now, let's uh, take a look at the first chart, which is the uh, German DAX. This is how we usually start today. You notice this is a 60-minute chart. Yesterday, we completed a major ABCD pattern over the past three days of trading from 12,460 down to 12,160, a perfect 61% retracement to 12,350, and a perfect ABC to the downside yesterday at 12,040. So as, as you can see, we had a nice little uh, Gartley sell pattern this morning when we rallied up and hit that 61% retracement in ABCD format. So, uh, and then we backed off again and stopped right at the 786. So this is going to be real interesting today. This one is really trying to hold support. Now, the next one we always like to look at, of course, is the FTSE. And folks, <laughs> first thing I do in the morning is listen to the news to see that the end of the world has not occurred. And when I heard what CN CNN said about the new baby, the new royal baby, uh, I was so shocked I couldn't believe it. They brought some really nasty ethnic stuff uh, on the air, and I, I was just sick. But anyway, let's take a look at this. Get off the soapbox, Larry. Keep talking about the markets. If you'll notice here, this is that 60-minute FTSE chart. Uh, we have the ABCD pattern. The retracement, of course, on this one was a 382. If you'll notice, the last two days of action looks very, very similar to the German DAX, boys and girls. Very, very similar. So uh, it's going to be uh, interesting to see what's going to happen. Now, yesterday when we were on the show, I posted some charts. Hold on one second here. I posted some charts of the uh, gaps that we have uh, in the uh, S&P, and I wanted to bring those to your attention here so you'll be able to look at some of these for some maybe long-term uh, patterns where it might go. You'll notice the first gap that we're looking at is uh, 2836. That's uh, you know that's the very first gap down, and then if we take a quick look, and just uh, for little giggles and, and smiles, let's just look at the uh, uh, let's just look at the S and P here, and you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. One second, and we'll get this up here. Uh, here we go. Here's what I'm looking at in the S and P. What it's done over the past few days. Just give me a second here. You'll notice that we made that three drive to a bottom pattern on uh, the 7th. We rallied up uh, yesterday. It went exactly to the 382 of the whole move way back there from May 1st. That was nothing more than a 382 retracement. That gives us an ABCD structure down to 2830. Folks, that is the gap right there. Is that that gap is at 2830. So pay attention to this. It could be uh, very, very interesting. Now, one of the things that, you know, when I get on the show here, I have a lot of people here that have not studied the markets uh, like I have, and uh, that's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I'm just saying that's what I do. But, uh, you know, they don't believe in the patterns that we have and the ratios and why they work. The thing is, they don't work all the time, and you have to remember that. If you'll remember, folks, uh, way back in late April, early May, Lyft came out. That's that new uh, ride-sharing IPO that came out. And what we did was, uh, after the first week's action, we saw that there was an ABCD structure coming in at uh, 53. Now, we had a strong rally into the 50% retracement. You can see that. That happened on May the 5th, and that led to the ABCD down. That price level is uh, 53. We're trading at 52 and change right now. Now, you notice it had two strong rallies. It had a rally from April 2nd into April 5th, which was $11, and it had a rally from the 26th of April all the way into the 7th of May, 
which was eight dollars, and it didn't even, uh, it, it couldn't even make any correction higher than a 382 of the high from March the fourth. That's a very bearish. Now, one second, folks. Give me one second here. Had to call the police here in Tucson today to arrest the Palo Verde trees here in the area because, oh, my gosh, they really caused some bad allergies today. Now, you'll notice we had the 382 retracement that came in uh, on the, uh, the 7th. Oh, that was Tuesday, okay? Now, look what's happened. We've come down and we've made the price objective of 52. That was the 1.618 expansion of that range that we just talked about. Now, what we're waiting for is this A, B, C, D pattern, as you can see here. That was Gartley's idea on page 222 of his book. He spent two full pages, page 221, page 222 of that book, and all he did was talk about the importance of that A, B, C, D pattern. And that's uh, that was what I saw, and that's why I latched onto it. You don't have to be an Elliott Wave person to do anything like that, but it does help. Let's go back into... Uh, history a little bit just to prove uh, how some of these things work. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the chart of, believe it or not, Facebook. Facebook came out at $45 a share way back in, uh, what was it? It was a long time ago. That's all I remember. Uh, I think it was, well, it doesn't make any difference. Anyway, you'll notice it had the big ABCD to the downside. Look at the first buy signal that you finally got in uh, in October uh, yeah, of, for Facebook. Beautiful ABCD right at the 78% with Chase a very small one. And then if you waited another seven months, you could have got another ABCD pattern that came in at June. And then, of course, the market went from 230 you know, to $200 a share. So if you'll be like a doctor, folks, because when you're a trader, you have to be a doctor. You have to have lots of patience because you don't want to chase the markets. You know, stay away from those four fears. Wait for the pattern to complete. That gives you the risk control that you're waiting for. And when that happens, then you have something that you can actually, you know, hold your hat on, and then you'll be able to do it. Thank you very much, Mr. Z. Facebook came out in May of 2012. Wow, that's seven years ago. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Anyway, we have another one today. I think Uber is going to be in the IPO, and we'll watch to see how the patterns unfold. Anytime you get a uh, a stock that has, uh, you know, more than fifty thousand volume a day, you know, you're you're you're, you're going to see these patterns work. When I first started uh, trading, you know, way back in well 1959, but in the early 60s, it was 1965. I think January of 66 is when we had our first 5 million share day. And we do that much in Intel in the first 20 or 30 minutes. So, you know, this, things have changed a bit. So, <laughs> but uh, anyway, that's what we're looking at. When we're going to have to take a little break here. But because uh, Bitcoin is in the news, I will bring the Bitcoin chart up again uh, just to show you that these patterns work. That's the only reason I'm bring, bringing Bitcoin Bitcoin to your attention is because it does give you some ideas of pattern recognition. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, 
the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the Taz Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at Taz has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the Taz Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the Taz Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the Taz Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Taz Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, uh, we have a uh, caller on the line. Mr. Z, are you there, my friend? Good morning, Larry. Good morning I, uh, to you. I, uh, I feel bad for you that um, <laughs> yeah. the, uh, the flora <laughs> and the fauna out there in Tucson is getting to yeah. you. Oh, you should see these trees. They're beautiful, yellow, but oh, my gosh, they, they, they drop these little tiny leaves, and they're all over the house. They're all over the neighborhood. And you can't get away from them, but they really attack me at times, and so they're, they hit me really bad this morning, but I'm still okay. What can I help you with, my friend? Larry, we're going to uh, pull a uh, Seinfeld character uh, for you and uh, create a, a bubble for you so yeah. you can uh, be the modern-day version of the <laughs> bubble boy. John, do you know that I've never seen one episode of that show? And it was an award winner and stuff. I just never watched it. Uh, and I, I like Jerry Seinfeld. I just didn't, uh, I just, just didn't watch it. <laughs> so go ahead, my friend. What can I help you with? Anyway, Larry, what I'd like to do is ask if uh, you could assist me, please, with just uh, ideas on the uh, stock futures, the bonds, sure. and the July wheat. Uh, specifically, sure. Larry, on the um, the uh, E-mini S&P futures Yes. Um, can you present uh, areas, price levels that you'd be watching for for uh, potential turning point lows just on the very short term? Your work is very sure. good at identifying those in advance, and I'd like to just compare notes if we could, please. Sure, John. I'm looking at a 30-minute chart going back to the 1st of May when we topped out. And then you can see the ABCD structures that have occurred since that time on on Wednesday, or excuse me, on Tuesday, we made a low at 28.65, and then that was the next uh, important thing was during yesterday's action we rallied to a 382 retracement that came in right at that 2896 level. We hit it twice, once late in the day, once earlier in the day, and now the market has broken down. The last time I checked in the chart that I posted here was at 28.58. This sets up a low of 28.25. You can see the ABCD structure there. That also happens to be that gap that I talked about uh, earlier this morning, and I posted the chart here in the Tiger Den that the very first gap to be filled comes in at 28.20 uh, in the uh, 
uh, e-mini S&P. So that's why I think that's where we're going. And believe me, that's not very far away. We're down quite a bit today, but we could easily make that target today. But the problem is, John, longer term, I think we've made some type of a monster major top. I've been talking about this for a few weeks, but if we look at that that E-mini chart on the weekly basis, and I haven't updated it yet because it's got a big red bar to the downside, uh, you're right, Marshall. It is a three drive to a bottom. Anyway, you'll you'll see that that's the uh, that's what's happened here. So I I believe that that is a major top. Uh, I you know I went through all the my reasoning in the newsletter, of course, that, that you get. So that that's what I'm seeing in the E mini S and P futures at 28.30, 28.20 is that first area of support that I can see. Excellent. I appreciate that. Um... And I'm just looking at I uh, I love your Pesavento Patterns software on Ensign with uh, your, uh, your FIP uh, expansion levels too, and those all coincide at that same area. So uh, so I see that clearly. Uh, moving on, I might ask you the same on the uh, bond futures. Um, the bond futures made a top up at that 150.20 area back uh, late March. And you had highlighted many times how that, on a weekly chart, was a terrific FIB618 retracement mark. So now we're bouncing. Uh, we're somewhere between the 618 and 786 retracement. If we happen to repel this area and turn lower and, say, get under 146, which was a low just a couple of weeks ago, if we get under that, can you also just show how you'd identify target levels uh, down there should we start proceeding in that direction, please? Sure, John. I've posted the uh, daily bond chart uh, going over the past uh, six, well, over, a little over a year, actually. And uh, this is a daily chart, and it says that the price objective on this swing that we're looking at would take us to 144. That would be the next area. Now, remember... John, we have that head and shoulders pattern setting there that occurred perfectly at the end of February when the market was trading at 143. I know you were very bullish bonds at that time. We had a perfect ABCD. Uh, it was just uh, right out of 382, and then the market went up, stopped exactly at the 618 that you mentioned. That was at 150.20. Uh, then we backed off, of course, and now we're in the midst of a little bit of a rally. I would not be surprised. Uh, for the market to get possibly to 149.20 uh, today. That's about one full handle up from where we are right now. That's nothing more than the 78% retracement of that small range, but it doesn't affect the targets at all. It's still looking at 144 is what we're watching when we see this. So that's what I'm looking at. Okay, I appreciate that. I'll just um, uh, just just uh, to be uh, prepared for today's action. Clearly, the fact that uh, bonds are firm is no surprise, given the selling that we're seeing in the, uh, uh, the stock indices. Having said that, uh, we're right amidst the quarterly refunding, which is the sale by the U.S. Treasury of 3, 10, and 30-year paper. Uh, today is the sale of the 30-year paper. Uh, that, those results come out at uh, 1 o'clock. Uh, yesterday was the sale of the 10-year paper that came out at 1 o'clock. And um, yesterday at 1 o'clock, the auction results uh, that were uh, uh, notified, publicized, released, uh, were poor. And we had some selling. And I just can't help but think I should be prepared for... Uh, uh, movement, positive or negative, after 1 o'clock today as that 30-year paper auction is, uh, results are released. Um, well, well the, the selling uh, dissipated very quickly once we got down to, uh, you know, to that uh, really strong support level at one, uh, 147 and change. It's right back to that near high again, 148.28. Uh, so, it, you know, it's, it's certainly taking bad news in stride, I would think. Yeah, excellent point. Yeah. Um, lastly, Larry, I might ask you, could you pull up your July Chicago wheat uh, charts sure. and um, uh, share with us if you see 
anything in the pattern that suggests a bottom is already in place or not. Yes, John, we have a possible double bottom. Uh, you'll notice that we had a bottom on the uh, 11th of March, and then we had another bottom on the uh, 30th of uh, of April, which was a you know very interesting, uh, uh, perfect double bottom because you took out the previous lows by just a few cents, and then you rallied back back up. And right now you've gone up, and now you're retesting uh, a 61% retracement. So that bottom has held so far, but. With these tariff things, if they get really bad, John, the emotionalism of this could really push this down into bargain le bargain level. So just be careful. Thanks so much, Larry. Thanks for calling in, John. Really appreciate it. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Maria on the line from the Big Apple. Are you there, yeah, young lady? Hi, how are you? How are you, Larry? I am very good. What can I do for you today? Well, I'm sorry to interrupt you on the wheat. So if you want to finish the wheat for um, John from Philly, I don't uh -huh. mind. And then I can, I can ask you about oil. Uh, you, would, you would like for me to go over wheat again? Uh, uh, did you finish? Okay, I was not sure. So, uh, yes, you yes, can, we're, we're you finished. Are, if yes. you have done, then if you don't mind looking at oil, that would be wonderful. Okay, I posted the four-hour chart into the uh, Tiger Den. You'll notice that we topped on the uh, 23rd of April, and then we made that 135 pattern that we like. 
I know you're familiar with that, where each of the lower lows is telling you that the market has at least started to head down. We're trading around 61.60 this morning, so the market did back off from that level quite a bit, but it hasn't really gone anywhere. We're in a really tight triangle right now. Any mm. move above 62.90 uh, would take you up to probably 64.50, but right now the trend is down, and I have to look at this from the short side. That's what I'm seeing uh, at least uh, okay. early this morning. Okay. Thank you very much, because I was trying That's to it. play along. Um, I just think okay. Yeah, the the long, is, long is okay, because you completed that uh, ABCD yeah. pattern on the 5th perfectly. That was a great buy signal, and we rallied up exactly to the 61% retracement of the May 20, the April 29th high, so... Uh, you're right. That it certainly uh, it, it is still bullish. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Larry. Okay. Thanks you for calling take in. Take care of yourself. I will. Thank you very much. And Sarah <laughs> bye says bye. hello. Bye. Okay. All right, folks. Let's move on here, and we will try to keep an eye on a couple other things that we're watching here, uh, folks. So one of the questions that uh, oh, it's from our, our good friend uh, uh, Bill Meridian was going to try to be on today, but uh, he's not able to do that. But he's kind enough to. Uh, furnishes us with a couple of charts. Uh, here's the first one that he's talking about. Uh, if you'll notice here, this is Bill Meridians from Cycles Research's chart. You know, this is the S&P 500 index uh, going over the last year and a half. He's looking at that big double top in there. And as you can see, he's, he's, uh, he's looking at that uh, blue line there that I believe is the uh, I think it's a 200-day moving average, but you'll know that it comes in right around 27.50. But that double uh, top there is very, very important. So I think that is something similar to what we were watching when we were looking at the uh, the Dow Jones and also the Nasdaq and also the the New York Stock Exchange Index, which was the biggest one of them all, and it was also lagging very, very badly. It had non-confirmation, and uh, at the same time. If you remember, we were looking at the uh, situation in the Dow Jones transportations, uh, making a head and shoulders pattern. All those patterns have uh, pretty much proven to, the, to you that they are working so far. And the key word there, boys and girls, is so far. Now, the next chart that Bill has uh, uh, sent to us is uh, very interesting because uh, you're going to see some cycle work that he was talking about. If you remember... Uh, this is the year where they say sell in May and go away, uh, but this is a composite cycle. You notice that uh, we should have been topping sometime in April. Looks like we topped on May 1st, and that gives us a negative bias uh, for quite some time, if that is correct. Now, remember, these, uh, these uh, patterns sometimes fail, and when they fail, they fail badly. So keep that in mind, but these are just some of the things that uh, we're looking at here this morning that gives us an idea of what we're watching to see if that's going to be the case. Okay, now, the one thing that I would like to mention to you is the uh, uh, the gold market. I wanted to cover that just a little bit because we had a real interesting uh, situation in the gold yesterday. Uh, I want to get this to your attention. We were thinking we were going to back off early in the week, but what happened was we went right up that area, you'll notice we have above 1293, which suggests higher prices. Folks, we got to 1292.70 yesterday and immediately dropped $13. We're still about $10 lower than that price right now. That still sets up that possibility of 1256. And that's not very far away. That's only $25 away. And in these markets, $25 could happen uh, in a heartbeat. So that's uh, what we're looking at here in the gold and of course silver is lagging badly platinum has uh, lagged very badly and to so we'll see oh yes tomorrow is risk-free friday every day is risk-free if you use a stop because that's what keeps you in the game boys and girls one second please wow wow i can't even breathe at all hold on one second let's get this platinum chart up here so that you can see uh what it looks like because it's uh if i can find it and i think i can i think i can yeah here it is we're trading considerably below where we uh, were on friday that's telling us this market still wants to go a little bit lower i i think we could get all the way down to 810 in the platinum on a really bad day if things really start to you know get uh, totally out of control all right uh, right now, some we have a question about the FANG stocks. I'll try to do these quickly so that uh, we'll be able to see them. This is the Apple. 
Um, these were all making, you know, major Fibonacci levels, as you can see here in the Apple. We had that big gap up with the earnings. It stopped exactly at the 78% level to the tick, which was uh, 215 and change. And we're trading below that right now. So that one has certainly completed its pattern. The next one we want to take a look at, of course, would be the, the Facebook. Here again, Facebook did exactly the same thing, made exact 78% level at 199. And we're trading below that right now. So that's also verifying that that was some type of a major cycle high. If we move to the next one, which is Amazon, we'll get it up here. Amazon was a tiny bit different. You'll notice that it just made the big ABCD pattern. The, the, the retracement came on early February, and then we went straight up uh, to that uh, ABCD pattern at 19, uh, 1970, I believe, was the high. So all of those were, were telling us that they are completed patterns. Finally, if we take a look at the Google, we'll just get this up here. And Google is a little different because it did make a new high. You can see that. And then right after we made the new, new high, look what happened. The earnings came out, and it had a slight correction. It dropped 10% in uh, one day. And uh, we were waiting for a 382 retracement at that uh, 1205 level, whether we get that or not. You know, we'll have to uh, wait and see, but that's neither neither here nor there. So hold on one second, and we'll get the last one, which will be the old Flickerino Netflix. And you'll notice this was still a, a relatively strong stock. And uh, the, the one thing you've got to remember about this Netflix stock, folks, is if you look at the uh, time in January where I've got that arrow in there, that was the day the Dow was down over 600 points. I believe that was uh, around the 4th or 5th of January. And on that day, with the Dow, jo Dow Jones down that much, Google was up. Whenever you see that, folks, if you happen to be short a stock and uh, the market is, uh, you know, really, uh, really bearish and that stock is going up, uh, in other words, it's the reverse of what you think. In other words, if why you have to ask yourself, why can – Netflix be up on a day when the Dow is down 600 points? The answer is somebody has an idea that it wants to go higher. Then you can see when the market turned, look what happened. Netflix gapped up and it ran $100 a share. So you got to pay attention to the how the market reacts to these news. You don't have to read the news, just how the market reacts to it. 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the gold report currently 
currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors distributor for side fund services llc the bull bear binary option hour next on tfnn okay folks the next one we're going to look at is bitcoin we've had several requests uh the high that we made back in august was at eight thousand four hundred we then broke down to three thousand remember the abcd structure going back to the high at twenty thousand uh, in january of last year the abcd structure on that uh, measured to uh, thirty eight hundred i mean that's seven hundred points off but that's that's pretty close and then we went sideways we made a beautiful gardley pattern down there at thirty five hundred and now we're trading above six thousand now the six thousand is very important because there was a whole bunch of numbers coming in at 5,800, and we went through that like it didn't even exist. Uh, that's really important. Now, we're waiting. Well, we're not really trading this stock. We're just showing you what we're seeing here. But we're waiting for a 382 retracement now to see uh, – how the market's going to react when we get that. The ideal situation, and you don't always get ideal, but if you were to get an ABCD structure right into 382, that would be your first uh, Gartley buy pattern since the one that we had you know, in uh, mid-January. So that's what you're watching. It, this would be the same if you were watching soybeans or anything else. Now, with the uh, news of this trade tariff thing getting more and more, and they're supposed to slap on some more tomorrow, my my guess is this is a giant chess match going, and how it's going to uh, turn uh, turn out we really don't know, but uh, it's going to be pretty active, and it'll give you some really great uh, buying opportunities also. So just keep a close eye on that. That'll be one that looks you know very very interesting. One of the questions that someone asked me is I'm still bullish on gold. Yes, I am still bullish on gold because I still believe we got a chance to get down to that 1255 level. That would wipe everybody out that's uh, on the short side or on the long side because they think that that head and shoulders pattern has failed. But actually, that's the lower end of the range. Silver at that price level of uh, 1440, folks. If I and, and I will, I will mention this. I've told folks if you're interested in buying silver. Uh, when we get down to that 1440, which I think we've got a chance, we're at 1480 and change today, but that's only uh, 40 cents away. If we get down there, that would really be an interesting uh, place to buy some silver rounds, you know, those beautiful silver rounds that they have. You could also, uh, you know, buy uh, silver dollars. Always, when you're going to buy silver, folks, always buy it in coin format. Buy the coins. The reason why they're easily identifiable, they do not have to be assayed because everybody knows that they're 90% silver. They know the weight of the coins. Uh, if you own silver bars, they've got to be assayed before someone's going to you know, uh, pay you the money for them. And that's a pain in the kabuki, and it's also a huge margin spread that they gain on you. So buy the coins if you want to buy silver. That's the thing to buy. It's like a little tiny gold bar and the little stamps that they have on all those coins tells you exactly what it's worth and how much uh, uh, time has gone into it. Notice the double top that we made there uh, in silver back in January and February. Uh, we made a higher high in February than we did in January by a half a cent, folks. 
and after that the market has continued to go down. I still think we've got a chance at 1440. Uh, maybe it'll be post the uh, the this news of the tariffs. You know, I I frankly don't expect anything. Uh, good to come out of these talks that they're having now and the reason is uh, is uh, you know it just doesn't this doesn't feel right and that and this, it's a all of your frustrations in life folks come from unfulfilled expectations that's from Tony Robbins and uh, that's true and so just because it doesn't get there I'm not going to be concerned about that it's just another situation where I thought the market was going to do something and the market decided to do it themselves so let's uh, let's keep in mind that those are the things that we're watching. Let's take a quick look here at what the markets are doing. We still should uh, should we're down at 28.49. Now what I will do today, folks, I'm just going to since I'm in a a little lethargic mood here. Here was what was happening in Europe last night when you guys were asleep. Here uh, the S&P was trading. If you notice that red line. That was the AI artificial intelligence, uh, artificial intelligence program that I used, Neural Net. You see that it fell, followed relatively nicely. You know, we made a bottom down there about 3:45 in the morning, and we rallied uh, 10 handles, and then you know we're coming down. But but remember, I'm going to give you what I think it would happen today. But but remember, these uh, these they're only times. They're nothing to do with price. So. If you look at the time here, we'll get this up here so you folks can take a look at it. Uh, at around 11.45, uh, which is in about two hours, uh, we should get a pretty good bounce. And then that should be an hour. And then uh, in the last hour of trading, it's going to be very, very active, folks. So the key times today are 12.45 and, and uh, excuse me, 11.45 and uh, 12.45. That one-hour time frame is going to be the key. If we're rallying strongly between 12:45 and uh, 12 uh, uh, 11:45 and 12:45 into 12:45, that would be the sign that it's most probably making a short sale and getting ready to go lower. The numbers on the uh, we're trading at 28:49 last night. Or last time I looked at that's you know you're only you're only 20 handles away from that that gap area, which is 28:30, folks. We can do that easily. So. Just sort of keep an eye on that. It's a very, very important one to look at. So any other questions that you might have? I could use some help today, folks, because I cannot breathe at all. And I'm doing, I'm struggling here, and let's just move on. Oh, here's a good one. I really like this one here, folks. Here's a, here's a foreign exchange that we've been waiting on. Let's just post this, what we're looking at here. This is this Japanese yen. We had that double top at the 78% level. It really looks... Uh, like it's ready to uh, get to an area that uh, should make uh, some really nice, uh, ni nice moves here. Hold one second here, because we've hit that 382 level this morning, folks. I'll bring it to your attention here so you can see it uh, a little bit easier. And uh, you'll notice that uh, once I get this thing working right, and there we are. We hit that this morning. We took out the previous month's low of March by just a little bit, a few ticks. And we're sitting there. That appears to be a 382 retracement in the end, so it's pretty good. Marshall's asking about the dollar index. Thank you, Marshall. We'll do that for you. We'll do anything for Marshall. Here is the uh, weekly chart of the dollar index. Folks, we made a three drive to a top pattern up there at that 9820 level. That was perfect. Stopped right on the money, and now we're backing off. It looks to me like the euro wants to rally, and the dollar index wants to top. That's what it looks like. Okay. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, well, we could look at the euro because I still think the euro is uh, trying to make some type of a bottom here, but uh, it, it could easily... The euro could easily melt down also. So any move below the low so far has been 111.10. Any move below that 111.10 would probably propel us down to the 109 to 105 level. But those are longer terms. They've got to break down substantially. Right now that dollar index is holding up together. That Australian dollar looks very good, folks. If you remember, we recommended... Uh, when that, that Australian dollar, when it was completing that ABCD pattern up there at that 72 level, uh, we're now breaking down again, and we're getting ready to uh, move uh, a little bit higher. Yeah, the VIX at 23, uh, that's, you know, you got to have some VIX because we're going to start seeing increased volatility 
across a lot of these markets, that's for sure. 877-926-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, pay attention to this euro, folks, because if it gets above 112.50, that would be a really positive sign uh, for the uh, euro, negative sign for the U.S. dollar. And as we said just a little while ago, we have made a three drive to a top pattern exactly at the 61% retracement in the dollar index. We made a higher high than last week by only 20 cents in the dollar index. That's not very much power. And then it rolled over from the exact number. That's what we're paying very, very close attention to. Uh, anyway, the next one that we need to uh, uh, talk briefly about, of course, is the grain markets. Folks, uh, I would not get involved with the grain markets until they finish this thing with the tariffs. I mean, the market is so oversold. And believe me, when it rallies, it is going to rally like uh, you, you won't believe because there's so many shorts out there. When they try to come through the door at the same time, uh, my guess is they're not 
going to make it. Now, whether it'll be an economic event or not, I, I don't really know. So those are just a few things that we're watching because we are making new lows now in beans, and I'm expecting a little bit lower low. And then we'll see if the market uh, does turn around and uh, give us uh, some place to, uh, to buy them. But right now, we don't see that at all. One of the things that we are watching very, very closely comes from our friend, Rich Anderson, and here are some of the things that Rich is watching along with Cy Modley from Sylvia's Financial. They're watching for, this happens to be the wheat market, and we're looking at that double bottom there, but you see the divergence there uh, where we have a higher RSI number, so sometimes that can be it. Remember, folks, live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. <laughs>